We are continuing to track our local rivers this morning as the region continues to get slammed with heavy rains and uh, we're seeing rivers spill their banks, creeks as well. John Hopperstad in Issaquah, where part of that area is under a flood warning this morning and uh, we're seeing the downtown core underwater in Issaquah right now, John. It's really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, Bill, something we really haven't seen, I can't remember ever, the front street in Issaquah underwater right now, but we're uh, a couple blocks over here on Dogwood Street. This is a street, a parking lot, a driveway here, and you can see I'm standing in several inches of water that continue to flow from Issaquah Creek into this apartment complex area and also this parking lot over here. And a little worried about this car just off to the side here, kind of down uh, a ways and uh, looks like the water might be rising on that car and hopefully uh, it doesn't go any higher because it's right up almost to the top of the tires there. A lot of people moving their cars around. We see sandbags out here as well. And that's one of the things the city of Issaquah has encouraged people to do over the last 24 hours is to get down and get sandbags and put giving them out for free bringing them back you can see people have stacked them up here around the entrance to their apartment complex here and uh, hopefully that holds the water back but as we mentioned uh, this doesn't just this isn't just happening here in this neighborhood this extends to Front Street in Issaquah really the main drag through Issaquah it's right now closed down from uh, Holly Street to Dogwood you can't get through on Front Street right now in fact I spoke to a worker at Dairy Gold milk plant there that's located on Front Street been there for decades and he says They've never seen the water come over the road there. At least he hasn't seen that in about 20 years working there. And he actually said the water was coming up through the drain in the parking lot. So there was some concern that it may make its way into the milk plant there as well. This, though, is what we're dealing with here in Issaquah this morning. We've got the snow melt. We've had that rain. And that combination is making the Issaquah Creek spill over right now, creating these flooding conditions here. The rain had stopped overnight. Unfortunately, in the last couple of minutes, it's starting up again here in Issaquah. Guys, we'll send it back to you.